I think it's fair to say that retro gaming is kind of in right now, but if you wanted to record a stream from these retro consoles that don't even support HDMI to your three or four viewers online, how exactly could you even do that? Well, the easiest solution would be to get an analog capture card, which in fact Elgato still makes one for some reason and still up on the website, but that's way too primitive and the quality will be kind of meh. So let's get a bit more sophisticated. Firstly, you're gonna need an open source scan converter or an OSSC. This handy little box is something that already a lot of retro gamers have and converts your old analog signals into HDMI. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be running this setup on what is arguably, well not really arguably, it's fact, the best console of all time, the PS2. So in my case, I'll be using component cables to connect up the PS2 with the open source scan converter, but you can honestly use it any kind of outputs that any given console supports. Once you have one of these, you will simply be able to run that into any standard HDMI capture card and capture the video from the console. Now naturally, the better the capture card, the better the results, but again, seeing how we're dealing with such low resolutions, the difference will be still small. Either way, I decided to go for what is probably the best capture card you can get right now, the Elgato 4K 60S Plus. The links to all these products I'm mentioning are going to be down in the video description below. But anyway, from here, simply connect up the capture card to the OSSC, then run an output from the capture card, and also, of course, make sure to actually power the capture card and also send a signal up to your PC. And there you go. It's as simple as that. You're now capturing with HDMI the footage from all your old consoles. But video is only one part of the audio visual experience. So what about audio? Well, the simplest way to do it is to just run audio RCA cables into the OSSC and the signal will just be carried via the HDMI cable. But if you know me, I like to make things more complicated. And if your console supports optical audio like the PS2, you are actually able to run that and capture that audio instead. Not only will the quality be better, but in compatible games, it even allows you to use more than two channels. So yeah, you can even capture like surround PS2 gaming if you really want to for some reason. For this, you'd either need and for this you'd either need an optical audio HDMI injector, or in my opinion, a much more simpler solution. A sound card. Yes, people laughed at me saying that sound cards are not relevant in 2023. Well, look who's laughing now. Well, they are, because we're talking about using sound cards to capture audio from a console that's over 20 years old. If you have a sound card like this one that has optical inputs, simply just run the optical split of cable from the console into it and then simply select it as your audio source in OBS or whatever else you're using to record. And there we go, just like that, we are capturing gameplay from a PS2 at the highest possible quality. So I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, maybe check out our Patreon down in the video description below, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way in supporting our work here. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Bardish Roker, Max Sumner, Shane Ulcroft, Lansby, Jesse Herbman, and Sharon Odgan. Down you can find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social links as well. But anyway, that's what it is, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good, bye.